Hi, I'm Ty Skyver with Burns Boots. Today I'm going to show you the steps that I used to make a pull strap for your cowboy boots. This video is a sample class from learnwithaloom.com. Aloom is a learning platform for leathercraft. Find the patterns for this course, other skills and entire projects at learnwithaloom.com. So I'm just going to use the color of my shell, this, this blue leather. And I make my pull strap about, well, not about, I make them six inches long. So they're six inches long and two inches or one inch wide. So I'm going to cut my leather two inches. So when I fold it in half, it's going to be, so there's 18 inches. That's three. And four more would be 24. So that's all the space we need for our four more is 24. I'll make it a little longer, give us room to trim all that. I'm just going to rough cut this off for now. Okay, so I always put this string tape in my in my pulls because of that fabric in there keeps the keeps the leather from stretching or, or ripping out. So that's very, very important that you put this or some kind of fabric in there. I just found this tape. It's exactly two inches wide. Normally it's one inch and I'd run it down the middle, but I'm going to like this better because I can take my two inch tape and I can put it right on my line. And that will just automatically become my guide to cut on. Now we're going to need some glue. I'm going to start folding this directly in half. There are so many different ways to make pull straps to assemble pull straps this is kind of just my way and then go to the other side fold it to the center Got that little off center. This is the this is the bottom side of your pull strap, so it's not going to be terribly important that you're perfect. Okay, so I'll get a shoe hammer here and just kind of flatten this out. There's the tops of our pull straps without any stitching yet. So my poles are six inches long. I'm just going to go ahead and go a couple rows here, dress them up a little. I'm just going to straight up and down these. Anything would work. You could make a semicircle pattern or a whatever you wanted. A lot of times I'd take a piece of the ostrich that we made the collars out of and run a little strip of ostrich down them, but we didn't have long enough strips here to do that. 
what we're doing with this stitching is make, making sure our fold doesn't pull up. So I'm going to stitch across here a couple times to keep that down because when this is on the boot, it's going to be like this and your finger goes in it right here to pull your boots on. So we don't want you to stick your finger in there and have this be rolled up. So that's why I'm, why I'm stitching it down with more than, more than one row. And also this stitching is gonna add strength Okay, so I want about two and a quarter to two and a half inches sewn down on the inside of my boot. So I'm gonna fold this, go two and about two and a half up, make a fold, and then I'm gonna have about an inch and a half tucked through the, the holes in my side seam. So that's gonna be the shape of my pull strap. So right here, I'm going to make a mark. So this is a 9 30 seconds hole punch. Get it right in the center. Right there, that's going to be right at the bottom of this strap. Then I'll take my knife and I'll just come from the from the edge of that hole straight down both sides so you got that now what's going to happen with that then i would trim off try to make this at a little point what's going to happen with this when we get these two boots sewn together There'll be a, what we call a side bead down through here, a piece of white side bead. I'm gonna punch a hole here, punch a hole here, and then we're gonna slide down in there. Well, first of all, this is gonna be sewn down like that, fold it over. There'll be a hole punched This bottom of that pull strap is going to end up sewn to the back side of your boots. So it'll be sticking up like that. So then when this comes down, I'm going to mark where the top of that hole is. Right there. Again, there'll be a piece of piping in here that's going to be the same width as that hole. So that, that's just going to go around that piping really nice. And then I'll punch a hole here. And I'll punch a hole here, and these two pieces will slide down into those holes. And then you'll sew up and up, and that'll be your, that will be your pull strap. For more videos like this, subscribe to our channel.